Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with Knowledge Hut. Hello and welcome to Knowledge Hut. In this video, we will be explaining the epic and agile and how to create one. So let us begin. In simple terms, Scrum Epic and Agile methodology is a big chunk of work which can be divided into smaller user stories. An epic can be spread across sprints and even across agile teams. An epic can be a high-level description of what the client wants, and accordingly, it has some value attached to it. As we mentioned, an epic is a high-level requirement, hence its scope can change over the course of time. Epics are a helpful way to organize your work and to create a hierarchy. The idea is to break down the work into shippable pieces so that the large projects can actually get done and you can continue to ship value to your customers on a regular basis. Epics help teams break their work down while continuing to work towards a bigger goal. Let's try to understand this with an example. Let's say throwing a New Year party at your place can be an epic requirement for you. To do so, you'll need to organize your effort, from the biggest objectives down to the smallest details. You should be able to respond to change, report your progress, and stick to a plan. Once you are aware of the epic, you can drill it down to create smaller tasks, like creating a guest list, deciding on the menu, shopping for the groceries, decorating at home, shopping for the new year, etc. Let's see how we can create an epic also called Scrum Epic User Story. In today's era, almost all the tools that the team will use have the capability to create an epic. It is up to the product and the team which type of epic they want. An epic is big, high-level, broad. For example, as a customer, I want to have wish lists so I can come back to buy products. This epic can be broken down into smaller user stories like, as a customer, I want to save a product to a wish list, and as a customer, I want to view my wish lists so I can buy items from them. Some epics cater to the reporting needs of management. Some epics are created with a time frame in mind. It should not be too long or too short, which means it should not take more than a couple of weeks to finish. But the widely used way is storytelling. So what is storytelling? Storytelling is a tool which helps you visualize the flow of events and how they coordinate back up to the epic. If you feel your working pattern does not sit in any of the mentioned ways, create your own. Just remember, Agile is never prescriptive. It shows you the path, and how you want to go over it is your choice. Coming back to our example, let us try to break it down into some doable components. It is really important to create chunks out of the epic so that the team can pick those up and deliver in a sprint time. You can compare this activity to art, which requires precision in terms of size, priority, minimally interdependent, etc. There are some preset ways of doing it, like workflow breakdown, role-based breakdown, and breakdown around the timeline. Workflow breakdown. Here in our example, we talked about a project where we have a new year party. Let's see how we can break it down in terms of workflow. Shopping can be a workflow where you need to get the items from outside. Another workflow can be cooking the food for the guests, the same way we can have decorating the house as another workflow. This also helps the product owner to easily prioritize the work. In our case, the product owner can be the host of the party. Some steps in the workflow may not be important right now and can be moved to later stages. Perhaps baking the cake takes on the priority, as it takes time to cool down, but the same can be done later as well. Role-Based Breakdown We can also break an epic down as per the roles. There can be different roles in your product or a project. Here we have a role of host, guest, or you can have a role as a cook. You can even add the roles as per your product. In a role-based breakdown, we talk in terms of that particular persona, breakdown around the timeline. Some of the epics can be broken down according to the time it will take to complete. The team usually divides the work, which can be accomplished in a sprint time. They take up the whole thing, break it into pieces, and fit the pieces in different sprints as per the dependency and priority. 
As I have already mentioned, the breaking down requires consideration into several areas, such as size, priority, interdependency, etc. Thus, there are two approaches to dividing, horizontally and vertically. It's like cutting the cake. If you cut it horizontally, you will get a single layer, but if you take the vertical approach, you will get to have a bit of all of the layers. So this was all about what is epic in Agile and how to create one. We hope that you like our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website for all the Agile-related courses and certifications.